Chopin was extremely careful in modeling the correct arrangement of the hand in the mind of his students. This video will show two of Chopin's decisive technical discoveries. One, that the hand needs support at its center of gravity, and two, that the finger is the trigger of all action. Before getting into Japan's insights on the piano hand, I strongly encourage the viewer to take a tutorial on the human hand anatomy in YouTube. Here are a few short videos that I recommend all pianists consider studying as in university. Just like professional athletes, it is best if pianists get to know the bones, articulations, muscles, tendons, vascular system and nerves that participate in piano playing. For the beginner, not knowing consciously where the fingers articulate and support may instill long-term flaws. As we learned in the introduction of this series, the natural position for piano playing is a fundamental concept in Chopin's teaching. The hands should always seek the rest position at any place on the keyboard, while the elbows hang freely. Fingers two to five, for example, mainly articulate the knuckles, articulation which seen from the palm side, is hidden inside the palm itself. This notion of precise articulation is extremely important, because knowing precisely where the fingers hinge helps tremendously in achieving maximum proficiency. The thumb, however, articulates mainly at the wrist itself, a notion that will make the pianist aware how short and strong it is. Now, when playing the piano, one cannot talk about articulation without considering the concept of support. Seen sidewise, the knuckle articulation is, on one side, the main finger articulation, and on the other, a very important support for the finger arch. A secondary support is the wrist itself. Here, we will notice that each finger finds support at different spots in the wrist. The wrist itself can be divided in three vertical sections or columns. The external column articulates with the thumb and second metacarpal. The internal column articulates with the fourth and fifth metacarpal. And the central column articulates with the third finger. Chopin mentioned that the third finger divides the hand in two, which, from a carpal point of view, is also correct. The third finger articulates with its own set of carpal bones, which in turn articulate with the main groove in the radius bone. The radius is the main bone in the forearm. The way each finger finds support at the wrist will have a major and decisive impact on proficient piano playing. From a biomechanical point of view, finger-to-finger -finger legato resembles the act of walking a great deal. Luckily, walking mechanics has been analyzed and teaches us that the bones do provide a dynamic support and that our neuromuscular system activates a different set of muscles during the walking cycle. Chopin was keen on the legato technique as the main tool to teach the walking of the keys. In his idea of legato, the finger falls lightly on the key with extreme sensitivity and once the key is pressed, and the sound is made, the same finger becomes a support to let the next one do the same. Walking and piano fingering have something else in common. Both have a center of gravity. In the case of the piano's extremity, the center of gravity is maintained around the heavy human wrist. The two fingers in the middle of this main center of mass are the second and the third. Chopin called them the support fingers, which also happen to be in line with the radius. This is why, in extensive arpeggios or scales, the hand inertia is guided by these supports.
In summary, when the hand plays the piano, it comes with several levels of support, just like buttresses found in medieval cathedrals. Each finger finds the main support at the phalangeal metatarsal articulation and at the rescarpal bones. The whole hand finds main support at fingers 2 and 3 during extensed passages. To end this video, the viewer is invited to consider that these findings are remarkable since hardly anyone mentioned the concept of support before Chopin did, and hardly anyone mentioned it afterwards.